What is up, everyone? Wednesday, September 29th. So now just getting into the watch list and going through the whole routine like I do each day. Here is the newsletter watch list. So today I'm watching Tesla, NVIDIA, Facebook, AMD, and Hood. And then just want to highlight the mental note. So obviously yesterday was a big pullback day. A lot of stocks and the individual names as far as the market spying the queues, they're gapping up into resistance. So it doesn't mean that it can't go higher, but it's definitely going to be difficult. It feels like a dead cat bounce. I'm trying not to have too much of a bias, but if it can't hold up, I feel like a lot of these stocks could quickly close the downside gap to prior day close. So I think that it could be volatile off the open. And then like always, my main focus is just the price action and the technical levels. Okay, so now let's get into the technicals of everything, starting with the SPY. So obviously, not a good candle yesterday. It's now gapping up into resistance. The upside level that I'm looking at is 437, and the downside is 435. Okay, now the Qs. So obviously, not a good candle as well. I feel like if it can't hold up, maybe these can continue to sell off. Try not to have too much of a bias, though. So the levels that I'm going to be looking at... The upside, 364, and the downside, right around pre-market low. It just recently broke it, but just knowing where that low is, 361.50. And now Tesla, so obviously had a nice breakout recently. It held up yesterday all right, considering it's still above the 9 EMA. So the upside level I'm going to be looking at is 786, and the downside is 781. And now NVIDIA, so it wasn't a great candle yesterday, and it closed below the 50 SMA. It's gapping into resistance like a lot of the stocks are. So the upside level that I'm going to be looking at is 210.30, and then as far as the downside, 208.75. If it breaks that, I feel like it could quickly close the downside gap to prior day close. Now Facebook, not a great candle as well like a lot of these other names. It's also gapping into resistance and it broke the low of this flag. So it had a chance to bounce, failed at the 9 EMA, and now you get this nasty candle the prior day. So the upside level that I'm looking at is 344.80. And then as far as the downside, pre-market low, 342. And now AMD and the daily was looking pretty good to the upside. So I feel like this was kind of a trap. That was a really nice candle. It got back above a lot of the short-term moving averages and gave all of that back yesterday. So I feel like there's some people trapped. It's gapping into resistance. So if this can't hold up, I feel like it could continue lower. So the upside level that I'm looking at is 102.80 and the downside pre-market low, 102.10. Now Hood, which held up all right yesterday considering that the market was so weak and it's still above the nine EMA. This really is just a possible breakout trade if the market for some reason decides to be strong. It's not really something that I'm super excited about, but just in case. So the upside level that I'm looking at is 46. As you can see, that's been a big area of resistance. If it can take that out, I feel like this could catch momentum, especially being that it woke up on the daily chart a handful of days ago, you know, back above the short-term moving averages. I know a lot of people like this stock. Maybe it has a chance to get going. So 46 is going to be that main level to the upside that I'm looking at. And then as far as the downside, 44. All right, there's the open. Let's see what today brings. So you got everything starting to push a little bit off the open, but to be honest, I don't really believe it yet because everything sold off very aggressively yesterday. Everything is pushing into resistance. So I just wanna see, can this hold up? And if it doesn't and everything starts to take out the low a day, I think that there could be some sort of quick sell-off and whether or not that leads to something bigger, I have no idea, but just at least a possible gap fill to the downside on the stocks that I'm watching and the spying cues. So I'm just keeping an eye on the move higher. And uh, I do like that this Facebook had that push higher. Uh, just looking at that prior day, I mean, the prior day, that's a pretty nasty candle. So if this can take out the lows, I actually like it to the downside, but I don't want to try to overly anticipate it. I want to see some weakness. I want the market to get weak, break the low a day, and then that would be where I'm looking to short it. So Facebook did break the lows, but it got there very fast. Three red candles in a row. I never like chasing that many candles in a row. I mean, I'm not perfect, but I try my best to avoid it. So really now what I just want to see is, does this sell off a little bit more aggressively and then have some sort of flag pattern? I'm obviously also watching the other names to my left as well. So just really trying to wait for a clear direction and a clean pattern. Okay, I'm taking AMD short for the uh, opening range break to the downside. Also green to red, knowing that prior day low is below. That was a pretty nasty rejection candle. Got below the nine, below VWAP. Just want to see this break 101.50. Want to see it go red. Okay, right at that 101.50. Just want to see that break. All 
Okay, nice. Very nice. 101.35. There was some size there. I want to see if we can get through that. Okay, very nice. Not a big mover, right? This isn't Tesla, so just trying to be a little bit more patient with it. Okay, very nice. All right, so this clearly went green to red. What happens at 101? Whole number, does it get there? Still getting a lot of selling pressure, very weak, so I'm just trying to be patient. All right, some aggressive selling. Just want to see if this can get to 101. My entry is 101.58, so no reason to let this go red. All right, coming into 101, what happens? Whole number. All right, nice break, very nice. Just wanna see if this can go a little bit further. It's getting a little extended. Okay, I'm just going to take it right there. All right, so that was a nice trade. So a little bit of pullback off the open, went for the high a day, stuffed very aggressively. I just kind of took the short on the reaction of that aggressive stuff, also knowing that the daily is weak, went green to red, and then as it went red, I just tried to ride this a little bit lower. I was slightly more patient than I normally am, I think because it's not a huge mover, it's not a Tesla, it's not an Amazon. So I, once I was in the money, I was able to realize that this is basically just gonna be a flat trade, worst case scenario. And then as it was three red candles in a row, starting to make the fourth red candle in a row, it broke the whole number 101, the quick wash of that, I just took profits. And the reason that I took shares on AMD is because I've traded the options before, and unless you take pretty big size, which I'm just not that comfortable doing, they don't move a ton. I mean, I'm sure if I had taken the 102 or the 101 puts, they would have moved, but I just felt much better about taking 500 shares. That's kind of what I'm gonna start doing. Outside of the really big names like Tesla, you know, Nvidia, Amazon, when they're a little bit cheaper in that cheaper price range, I'm just gonna focus on trading shares. And for content purposes, it's pretty cool because you can see the dots too. So you can see where I got short, where I covered, and just visually, it's easy to see what happened. So now I'm looking at Tesla. I'm gonna go for the high break, 785. You also got in the market, the market's starting to bounce too. Tesla held up all right yesterday.
All right, getting a nice push. Just want to see this and go a little bit further. 786, all right. I'm just going to take that right there. Quick little scalp. And honestly, if you notice, look at my option quotes. It took me a second to realize what was going on. My option quotes are messed up. So look at this side right here. Look at the ask. I don't know what is going on. Maybe just increased volatility. Maybe there's some sort of connection issue at the moment. But when I saw this move into 786 and I looked over, I realized that they were not looking right. So whenever I notice something like that and I feel a little off, I'm just going to get out of the trade. So just a quick little scalp. I'm going to take that, try to figure out what happened with the quotes because that was very weird. But once again, another issue that I was able to catch real-time trading where there's just certain things that you can't control. And whenever I see something that's off and not right, rather than trying to you know hold a winner, like this clearly would have been a really nice winner had I held it. But being that there were some issues here, I just felt comfortable getting out of the trade, you know, take a step back, don't get caught in something that could possibly be a bigger problem. And then I can always reevaluate. But being that these option quotes were screwed up in that moment, I felt like the right thing to do was just get out of the trade. So I'm sure if I restart it, and then I open up Lightspeed again, it'll be all right. But really, it's just this EMLD. Not really sure what this exchange is, but it is throwing it off a little bit visually, just as far as the uh, the price. So now let's just get a quick look at what everything else is doing. So looking at SPY, so it had the dip. I honestly thought that this was going to continue lower just because the daily chart, I figured it was going to take out prior day low. Maybe this has more weakness. And this is why you can't have a bias when it comes to the market. You know, obviously having an idea of the bigger picture, but really that's where I just let the technical levels tell me what's going to happen. If it breaks a technical level, it can't really hold below it. And then you get something like this an aggressive move higher once it looked like it was going to break down you know that lets me know that i just need to kind of back off rethink my idea now let's check out the cues same thing took out the lows looked good for more downside obviously now you got a lot of buyers coming in um, looking at tesla tesla had a really nice move i feel like i chased it a bit but had a pretty good entry just because the opening range break so I had a decent amount of time for consolidation took out the highs and then nice follow through. Unfortunately, the quotes being a little off messed me up. And now that, that that exchange is gone, so now they're good to go. And I wish that hadn't happened. I still would have taken the quick move, but I probably could have got a little bit more had I not seen that. But it is what it is, an uncontrollable situation. And I feel like I did the right thing just by getting out. But now you got Tesla that's really pushing to the upside. NVIDIA broke the lows, almost filled the downside gap. And then now very strong bounce off those lows. Looking at Facebook, Facebook still just hanging around, showing a little bit more weakness than everything else, probably because the daily chart, because Facebook is just not looking good at the moment. Now let's just see if this can get back above VWAP or not. And then now looking at AMD, ended up getting out at a decent spot. I mean, obviously it's hard to catch the whole move, but I feel like I got a pretty good chunk of it, got the meat of it. So pretty happy with that trade. And then looking at Robinhood. So I had to push off the open, pull back, and now it's just trending above the nine in the VWAP. So as far as being able to find longs, I mean, the only thing that I'm really going to like, maybe for a possible setup in a little bit, is Tesla, just because it's still strong on the daily. A lot of the other stocks, this is now a move into resistance. So whenever I you know, see a huge red candle on the daily and you get stocks that are moving into a big red candle the prior day, it's hard for me to want to just go long into that. So in a situation like that, what I try to do is find stocks that are the strongest. So Tesla daily chart still looks really good. And obviously it's my favorite stock to trade. So if this has some sort of flag pattern, a nice period of consolidation, this just came from 780. So basically straight up 10 points. I don't want to continue to chase this. I would like this to pull back, consolidate, form a very nice flag pattern. And then I would consider the trade. But being that I've already taken two trades really quick off the open, if I took a trade on it, it would be small. So that way I do not mess a good thing up because I am green on the day. Facebook now starting to show some weakness. So I had some trouble at VWAP. I feel like this could close the downside gap right around 340.65. Okay, I'm gonna take it for the low of day right there. Showing some relative weakness. Also the daily chart not looking great. Just wanna see if this can get to the uh, the downside gap fill. Okay, well, I'm just gonna get out of that because that started to bounce. That did not go that fast. So I like that 342 break. I really thought that this had a chance to sell off, maybe bounce a little bit and then continue the next leg lower. But when it got back above 342, kind of the big spike candle, I just got out of the way, took the quick loss. So you know what that tells me? That tells me it's time to just walk away, call it a day, 
I took two trades right off the open. They were nice winners. The third one gave some back. So now I don't want to overtrade and screw a good thing up because I am small green on the day and I want to keep it that way. So now let's go check out the PL. Ended up taking the trade on AMD. That was a nice short. Quick trade on Tesla. Tried the short on Facebook, smaller size. Ended up losing on that one to be up $274 on the day. Not a huge number, but I'll take it. So I appreciate you watching the video. Feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. I just wanna highlight a couple really cool things that I have to offer. The first is my newsletter watch list that I'm gonna be posting on my private Twitter 30 minutes before the open of each trading day. Here's an example of what that's gonna look like. So I'm gonna do a quick overview of the market, the SPY, the Qs, the upside levels, the downside levels, and then a sentence or two is to the overall bigger picture. Make sure to highlight any market news or events that are happening that day. And then I'm gonna list the four to six stocks that I'm watching that day. If there's any company specific news, all the upside levels and the downside levels, and then do a quick bigger picture, a couple sentences as to what's going on in the daily chart. This is everything that's in my head prior to market open. This is how I prepare and a really easy way to get access to my trading process. One page with everything I'm looking at, all the technical levels, and all the news delivered 30 minutes before market open in a really organized fashion. Also, I have a call service, so if you want something that's a little bit less of a commitment, you wanna connect with me directly, talk about my trading, my journey along the way, and just connect with another trader, this is really great. And this can be a video call or a regular call, whatever you're comfortable with. It's a one-time fee and it's gonna be for one hour. So if you're interested in either one of these, I will put the links in the description below.